guys, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy X2. Last time we just got done beating a Tomberry, and now we're going back with uh, normal type things, normal Tomberry fights and whatnot. You know, pretty good. Today is May 14th, and it is a Saturday. And this is the morning, so I have to be kind of quiet because my sister is still asleep. Anyway, we are heading back to the secret room in the ravine, like we went to last time. And there will be a special little scene there once again. Buddy up to Nuge. Huh. Is something the matter? Oh. It's you. As you can see, this place has been sealed. The portal is supposed to react to a certain kind of spear. But just this one isn't enough. That's the end of that, then. No, it's not, Uni. Oh. I know. Why don't you let the Gull Wings take on this mission? You'll find the other spheres? Sorry. On my honor as a sphere hunter. Of course, we won't do it for free. Very well. I leave it in your hands. Here, hold on to this sphere. Thanks! Perhaps this is fate. I don't think so. We got Crimson Sphere 7. Whoa, 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 You know him? Why should you care? Come on, there was something between you two, right? Riku, I'll say this once, okay? I consider you friends and I trust you. I even respect you, alright? I would think that it'd be enough. Well, yeah, but don't you ever want to know more about your friends? Not really. Well, I do. I do want to know more about you. What for? Who cares what happened in the past? There was something. <sighs> Come on, Payne, you can tell us. What happened? You disappoint me, Yuna. I thought you were above all that. Well, not anymore. I like asking questions. You'll lose friends. You think so? Never mind then. Oh, and I was looking forward to hearing the good stuff. Confessions of a shady past. <laughs> You're a pain. Minus four respect points, Riku. Uh-oh, how many points left? Forty-seven. That's not a whole lot, is it? Why don't you figure out how to get in here instead of inside my head? Maybe we need spheres like that one to open it. It might open if we find them all. It's good we have two others. I still want to know what happened. Uh, that's forty-six. Well, we know what one thing we're looking for. More Crimson Spheres. Oops, I'm sorry, we only have two. Thought we had three by this point, but maybe not. Well, anyway, we gotta head back to the base camp. So back through the ravine, and... More fights, possibly. I always like the ravine and the mushroom rock on, or in this, in these games. It's kind of peaceful, but not entirely peaceful. You know, it's just kind of interesting. Well, more Ochu. They're not gonna get in the way, right? No, never. They would never get in the way. Oh, 
Oh. So we should move slowly. I want to fire. Well, this is an Ochu. Ochus have a status of inflicting a, like normal attack right there. That would inflict poison. They're also kind of annoying. This happens to be a drowsy Ochu, meaning it can affect inflict sleep. Pretty good idea if you're gonna fight them to put on protect. Just a recommendation for me. They also apparently can inflict confusion. And, like most plants, they're somewhat to fire. They also can inflict itchy. So, either wear the favorite cop, favorite outfit equipped, or just be ready to switch your things around. Now, the funny thing is. Riku as confused is not all that funny, or is not all that big of a deal. Because since she's a cleric, she can't attack, and the only thing she can do is heal people anyway. She could heal the enemy, which could be annoying, but that's about it. Yeah. Hey yo! I don't care if you're not a little bit. Actually, it wouldn't be a loop in it, it'd be a loop in it. Oh, Agatha Kekalog. I'm still expecting some of you to look that up after I've said it twice in two episodes. Well, not. The other one was the, the most recent uh, Pokemon Snap episode, if you're wondering. Still going on. If you want to leave in comments what your uh, what your vote is, the vote is still for uh, dot hack infection, Kingdom Hearts on expert, or uh, so was the third one. Roddy out of stories. I'm basically I don't know if you've seen the update mon two and a half. I said that. I will have a stronger vote than most people, and this is not true anymore. I uh, only have one vote, and I'll take that in consideration to whatever anybody else wants me to do. I'm just kinda like, you know what, I should make it fair, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it completely and utterly fair. I run faster than you. I run faster than you. But I don't get tri but they don't get tripped up on ledges like I do. Anyway, heading back to the elevators. Training camp. We will help people to touch. I need some tea. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, 
that's what I'll go do. I'll go get some tea after this. Lady Yuna! So, is it true that once the Gullwings join the Youth League, you'll be in charge of your own division? Let me guess. Yaibo? Everyone's talking. Uh, this story just keeps getting better and better. We just helped out the one time, really. I knew it. I thought it sounded a bit strange. I mean, you seem like the kind of person that decides things on their own and then just does whatever they plan to do. I can't picture you joining an organization or an army or anything like that. Do I really come across that way? <laughs> Hello? Just as I thought. I've reprimanded Yaibel for spreading such ridiculous rumors. It's highly unprofessional. Yeah, but think how great it'd be if it were true. Still making the pitch? Uh, no, absolutely not. I know that words alone are not enough to sway Lady Yuna's heart. The heart is not moved from without, but rather when the time is right, it moves of its own accord, from within. Finding the place where one belongs is by nature a personal journey. Isn't Commander Lucille amazing? Such wisdom! <laughs> I learned it all from my troops. Excuse us, we have a strategy session to attend. Farewell. Come and see us again, okay? Bye, Elma and Lucille. Yes, I'm waving at the computer screen. Don't judge. <laughs> anyway, let's head back onto the airship. And on uh, the next, let's see. Where are we headed to first? Do that. We, got, we gotta watch that report. That's one thing we gotta do. But next, we're on to the moon flow. Let's see what's on the sphere. I'm blurry and can't really see anything. Although that voice does sound pretty familiar. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. This is the end of this episode. And... I will see you next time on the next episode of Final Fantasy X2. Um, check out my Tumblr and my Game Anyone account. Links will be in the description. Anyway, I'm Zachary Chalkin and have fun gaming. See you guys!